Now we go into the tenses and the aspects. What we intend to do is take up tense one after another. Go into every aspect. We will first find out how that aspect is to be formed and then find out in what situations we have to use that particular aspect. Let us begin with the present tense. Let us assume that an action that takes place in the present time is called present tense. The first aspect we are going to take is simple present. Simple present. Tense is present. Aspect is simple. You have to be a bit careful when it comes to simple aspect. In the simple aspect, we have to use the base form of the verb that is VO form. Sing, bring, read, raid, display and bow. Then you have to use VS form also where you are going to add S to the root verb. Sings, brings, reads, raids. Displays, bows. Where are we going to use base form? And where are we going to use a VS form? You know the three persons. First person, second person, third person. First person singular, I. Plural, we. Second person singular, you. Plural, you. Third person singular. He, she, it. Plural, they. If it is first person singular and plural, second person singular and plural and third person plural, you have to use the base form of the verb. I come. I, first person singular. We come. We, first person plural. You come. You, second person singular and plural. They come. They, third person, plural. In other words, we can say when we use I, we, you, they, we use the VO form. If the subject is third person singular, he, she, it, then you have to add S to the verb. V.S. form. He comes or Tom comes. She comes or Anne comes. It comes or the cat comes. I write. We write. You write. They write. He writes, she writes, it writes. This is very basic grammar point. You can't afford to make mistakes in this area. We can also use be form, have form as a main verb for simple present tense. You can say he is here or Tom is here. He is a teacher or Anne is here. He is a student or Jim is a student. We are using auxiliary is as a main verb. I am a student. We are students or 
Jim and I are students. You are a teacher. Or Kate and Sarah are teachers. He is a singer. Or Tom is a singer. She is a writer. Or Amanda is a writer. It is a dog. They are cats. Similarly, we can say, I have a pen. She has a car. Here, you are using an auxiliary verb as a main verb. When the noun is in the plural form, you have to use the base form of the verb, that is VO form. If the noun is singular, you have to use VS form. That is, you have to add S to the base verb. A girl loves fancy dress. Or Amy loves fancy dress. It is a singular subject. We are using VS form. Girls love fancy dress. It is a plural subject and we are using VO form. A dog barks. Dogs bark. A student is always mischievous. Students are mischievous. She hates sweets. We hate sweets. Remember, plural noun should take base form or VO form. Singular noun should take VS form. This is a very vital area and you should not make a mistake here. So, where do you use the simple tense aspect? Normally, when we use a simple present, we are not going to talk about an action that is in progress. We talk about an action that is habitual, that is regular, that we repeat often. I go to school by bus. That means that you're going to school regularly by bus. It is a habitual action. I get up at 8 o'clock. She goes to bed at 10 p.m. I watch TV in the evening. She watches TV in the morning. She comes to college by bus. I come to college by train. We go for walk in the morning. She goes for walk in the morning. I am a good boy. She is a good girl. We are good students. They are bad students. So, when we talk about a habitual regular action, you have to use simple present. The college starts at 8.30 a.m. The first bell goes at 8.35 a.m. We wind up classes at 1.30 p.m. Regular habitual repeated actions, you have to use only simple present. Similarly, when you talk about truths, accepted things, you have to use only simple present form. Because truths will not have a past, present or future. Truths are always truths. So, you have to use only simple present when you talk about truths. The sun is a star. The earth is a planet. Wood floats in water. Water 
boils at 100 degree Celsius. So these are truths. When you refer to truth, use simple present. In case of commentaries, we can use simple present to say, Here comes Obama. Need not to say, Here Obama is coming. <laughs> to express that immediacy, you can say, Here comes Sachin. Here comes Obama. That is an acceptable form to give that emphasis to it. We can also use simple present to indicate a future action and we will discuss it later. So, what are all the important things that you have to remember about a simple present tense? In the simple present tense, you are going to use VO and VS forms. VO in the case of first person singular and plural. Second person singular and plural and third person plural. VS forms you have to use when the subject is third person singular. That is he, she, it. Singular nouns it must have VS forms. Plural nouns it must have VO forms. Have, be, do auxiliaries can be used as main verbs. He is a cinema star. I have a car. I do my job well. So, even though they are auxiliaries, they can be used as main verbs in the simple present tense. Where do we use simple present? When we refer to habitual regular actions. When we refer to universal truths. When we talk about event happening now, but to give it an immediacy, we can use a simple present. You can also use it to refer to future action, which we will discuss later.